Hey guys, in this episode, I want to share how you can make notes using markers in Premiere Pro. There are generally two types. One is a sequence marker, which usually sits here at the top. And then secondly, there are clip markers, which sit on a particular clip that you would have selected. You can unlock so much more, especially if you have a timeline that is either very long and has a lot of clips or a timeline that's just complicated and you want to remember stuff. Or thirdly, if you are working in a team and you like to make notes for the colorist, if you want to make notes for someone else who's doing VFX and all of that. So I'm just going to show you first how to do that on a sequence timeline. And what you want to do is press Alt on your keyboard and then click on whichever uh, marker you intend to make a note on. And then you'll see that it has changed. Uh, you now have these two handles on each side. So you can drag either to the right or either to the left. So let's say I want to make a note for this clip. Let me just make it another color. Let me make it mango. So let's say I want to make a note for this clip for the colorist, right? I can just drag it so that it covers that entire clip. And then I double click there. It'll bring up this pop up. So I can give it a name. I can say colorist, that's the name. And then we can even change the color of the marker. So I'll make it maybe blue. And then I'll just say, make it warm and vibrant. Oh man, what kind of note is that? But anyways, um, this is just for illustration purposes. And then I just click on okay. So now you've got a, not only a marker that that's a certain point, but it also has notes. So if you then give it to another person who's doing the coloring, they can easily go in here and find out, okay, this is what he wants. Or if it's just for you as well to remember, if you're editing in stages, first you're doing maybe the sequencing and whatever, and you're only gonna edit again tomorrow, you can make notes like this. But of course, this is for the sequence markers. But what if you wanna do that for clip markers? So of course, the temptation would be to do the same thing with clip markers where you hold down Alt in your, on your keyboard and then you click, but you'll see that you can't do that when I, I'm trying to do it right now. So to do that on a clip, you need to first double click it and then it'll open in your source monitor. And then in your source monitor, you can do the Alt thing and then you click then you drag. And then let's say we wanna remind ourselves to put an effect here, a glitch effect. I don't know why I would be doing that on a cooking video, but yeah just to remind ourselves to put a glitch effect there. And then we can make this mark um, orange. Is that mango orange? I'm not so sure. And then just like that, you now have a marker here just to remind you again, what edit you wanna do later on. That's, that's pretty much how you can make notes using markers. And a key thing to note as well, let's say I want to repo delete this first part. If I do it for mine, it moves because I've already changed it. But if yours is not moving with your timeline, what you just want to do is go to the top menu under markers, make sure that this repo sequence markers option is ticked. And that way, whenever you, uh, so let me just untick that actually and show you. So now that it's not on, if I repo delete, you'll see that this marker didn't move, which is something that you don't want. So just make sure that it's it's on. And of course the option that's below does the same thing. If you wanna copy this somewhere else, quickly edit there. So let's say I wanna copy this and copy it with the markers as well. I just need to make sure this is clicked and ticked. And then when I paste it somewhere else, it comes with the marker. Now, I hope this was helpful. Just a short tip on how you can use markers to make notes in your timeline in Premiere Pro. Anyways, my name is Z. Please do subscribe or like the video if this was helpful. And uh, until next time, cheers.